All right, guys. Welcome to 920 North Blue Marlin. Had to come back out and shoot this again. So we are out front of the house. Nice three car garage. Not a bad neighborhood. Lots of Christmas lights coming down today. But let's go check out the inside. Lots of outside parking here. One thing I do while we're doing landscape, instead of turfing out front, you could do some nice gravel uh, in here, make it super low maintenance. So all you gotta do is spray for weeds, keep the mature bushes, and then these awesome palm trees in here make it really feel like a vacation when you're walking up. So they do have a nice little walkway coming up here that you could reseal when you do the repaint. And they have this patio over here too that does need a little bit of love, but this is a nice feature because people can come sit out here. You have an, another outdoor living space for when people are coming to visit, they can have their coffee and boom. So we will walk inside and I'll show you guys around the house. So we walk in and here is your entryway to one of the living rooms. Also the staircase set. That way will lead you down to the laundry room, a full bathroom, and then also one of the bedrooms. But we are actually gonna start over here. This would be one of your guys's like main game rooms. We wanna make this super unique. So when they walk in, they have the ability to just really be wowed. You got a nice wood fireplace over here. Most people aren't using fireplaces in Arizona. And so you could just stack that with some like nice looking logs and use it as like staging. This is the main living room here. That leads all the way down to the kitchen too. So you could put a pool table in here. You could do foosball like we have in our game room. And it's nice because it looks out into the pool area. The kitchen has all stainless steel appliances that convey with the home and some good looking painted black cabinets. I don't mind the countertops. I actually think those are pretty cool, but I would do when you guys have it painted, I would either repaint the cabinets and do a sealer on them um, just so they don't get nicked from fingernails or anything like that. This looks out into the pool area. And this is secondary living room right here. So you could set up your couch, your TV, even like a dining table over here in this area. So people have a place to sit and eat. That leads back down into the three car garage and also the other bedroom, bathroom, and laundry room like I was talking about. But well, let's take a peek outside at one of my favorite areas of the house. So as you walk out, this is all covered patio because of the upstairs balcony. So you got a nice fan underneath here. This is all tiled so you could set up a sitting area, sectional out here. And then like we had discussed, turfing this part back here. I would probably, even though it looks cool, I would rip all these out, even on the upper balcony, just so it has a cleaner, more open look. And then you could do like some murals or whatnot on the back wall. You do have room if you ever wanted to add one of those plug and play hot tubs or something over here. Still have plenty of room for your outdoor games, cornhole and everything here. Does have the pool fence already set up, which is nice for younger guests and kids. So. People can have their families out here and not have to worry about the kids getting in the pool without an adult. Nice tough shed that you could use for pool storage and or the owner's storage in here. This conveys with the home and this is outside to your pool gate and garbage. So your garbage guy, AKA me, can come in, easily take them out to the front. This I would get rid of and junk just because it's not set up anymore how it should, seen its use. So, 
we'll walk back here this is what i meant by just doing some like general landscape we had a storm and it just needs to be cleaned up and some love back into it so i'll walk you back out into the yard so you guys can kind of see the back of the house here walk you through the pool area so it'd be a nice transition if you had turf there so this is your pool area you could set up your loungers over here even put that uh, picnic table up against that sidewall over there the pool is in relatively good shape although at some point especially if you're going to repaint the outside of the house they can repaint all of this pool deck area and make it look really nice and if there's enough scrap left over from the turf company i would turf along this little bit and that way you don't get any rocks in your pool i think that would just look cool the green against this blue would really pop pool equipment over here if it were me in my house i would add like a little bit of a gate or you can do like a small cinder block wall here so then at least your pool guy can get in there and then that would block your view while you're swimming in the pool of this and so i'll continue to walk you guys around so we can go see the pool from this side too so pool looking back at the house picnic table nice little storage over there for pool floaties and stuff like that so we're gonna take you back inside here so back inside the house kitchen from the living room so you guys have that view this is the pantry right here Got another under stair storage right here. It's really nice how it splits it up between both of the living rooms and living spaces. This is your prime, or sorry, not primary, but your downstairs bedroom in here. You could definitely do like queen bed down here, set this up nice. That way, like elderly people aren't absolutely like out of the question to be able to rent your home so they could stay down here or family traveling with grandparents this is nice because they don't have to actually do the stairs part of it and they can still come and enjoy the trip here is the i don't even know what color this is laundry room with the washer and dryer they do run but not anything crazy fancy this is your full downstairs bathroom right here so it does have shower curtain right now but if you guys wanted to in the future you could really spruce this up nice this is your three car garage so lots of space in here and you could make this like a livable space. You could put a ping pong table out here. You could put the battle putt, like I was saying out here. And instead of having people use it for parking, which most Airbnb guests don't care if they have garage parking, most of them won't even use it if you offer it. You just make this more livable space. All of the garage has these insulated panels. Most garages don't have that, especially in Washington where we're from. And so it keeps it cool during the uh, summer heat months and it keeps it you know, insulated and warm during the, um, the winter. This leads out outside too, to their front driveway. So you do have access from the garage. That is an added benefit. Newer water heater with the installer's name and number. I'd probably get rid of that when you go to paint it, but it is nice because they do have all of the primary paint colors there. If you guys wanted to just get more of what's currently there. Also, they have extra tile in the event something were to ever happen. So that's a nice little feature too. So I'm going to take you guys upstairs to the rest of the, the house. 
carpet definitely would be something that I would encourage you guys to replace. Got some extra storage here for towels, necessities, sheets, things like that. Extra blankets that you might want your guests to have. This could be like a nice little unique sitting area or you could put like uh, one of those like game or arcade consoles here because it does have the in-floor um, outlets. Looks down over the other game room too as well. Gotta love the vaulted ceiling when you walk in. So this is the master. You could definitely fit a king bed and also one of those pullout beds in here too as well which would be super nice. Plenty of space. Definitely add a TV in there. Nice tall ceiling so you don't feel cramped. And then we'll take a look out. It's one of my favorite parts of the house. Take a walk out and you can see the pool area. Then your nice new turf backyard. This is not a main road. This is just an interior neighborhood road. So pretty quiet, not a bunch of road noise, but lots of space out here where you could put like a little outdoor fire pit and like a sectional too. So people can enjoy this as another living space. If that was a hot tub or anything or whatever you decide to put down there or even more seating, you can do that too as well. But really cool. Lots of space out here on the balcony. This is something too that we can kind of negotiate into the, uh, the cost as well as a concern of ours, but no leaking or anything inside, which is good. So we'll walk back in to the master bathroom, double vanity, bathtub, normal shower nothing too crazy uh in here about that you could change up and really make this look cool with some paint and a fresh mirror captain's uh toilet so that can be private also big walk-in closet in here too plenty of space and storage too for your stuff crawl space access Okay, another perspective for you guys to see of the master. French doors walking in. So I'll take you down here to the other two bedrooms. Could do bunk beds in here and then like a single twin or you could do full king size bed if you really wanted to. The color has got to go though. We even got the Barbie fan up there. So big closets in each of them, which is nice. Not absolutely necessary, but it is nice to have those. That's another one of your bathrooms. We'll get there in a second. This is the fourth bedroom that we'll show you. Definitely needs some repaint but still nice sized looks out to the neighborhood a little cloudy in gilbert today but we've been having some stormy weather unfortunately another big closet too as well so that really concludes the trip around the house this is nicely redone great for guests newer toilet new vanity New faucet, plenty of counter space. You could add, just to top it all off, a glass shower door if you'd like. So it shows off the subway tile, or you could just do your standard shower curtain. So this is one of my favorite bathrooms. Cool. All right, guys, hope you enjoy it. Let me know if you guys wanna make an offer or hop on a phone call and have any questions. Peace.